What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here and it's time to talk about playing cards. Just kidding. What's up everybody, today we're going to be doing a bit of a deck review and the deck in question is this Peter McKinnon deck which is the piracy playing cards from Theory 11. So it's time to embrace Pete's pirate life, grab a hot cup of coffee, fly the flag and look at these playing cards created in collaboration with Peter himself. So a brief overview, if you've been living under a rock and don't know who Peter McKinnon is, he's a little breakdown. Peter is a Canadian YouTuber, vlogger, photographer, filmmaker and magician. So if you didn't know this, Peter used to work for a company called Illusionist many, many years ago, shooting video content for them and releasing some of his own magic products as well, such as Lock, Stock and Riot. And he's also created playing cards in the past with the uh, the King's deck. And that was done with the help of Daniel Madison and some other decks like the Limited deck. And the deck in question that we're going to talk about now is his new deck, which is the Piracy deck. So how much are these decks? These are priced slightly higher than the rest of the decks on Theory 11 and are currently $20. And here in the UK, I picked these up from Paper Decks for £19. So if you want to order a deck of these and you're in the UK, then there's a link in the description below. So let's talk about this tuck case. So on the front of this deck, it's got a lovely gold embossed design on there and it features the Pete's Pirate Life logo on the top along with fly the flag and banners on each side. And then in the middle of the deck is a pirate ship and above that is a large piracy text. Underneath the board is the text saying that they are Peter McKinnon playing cards and produced by Theory 11. On the back, there's a great compass design with Peter's logo in the middle again. There's a bunch of skulls and intricate details throughout the designs along with scrolls showing the piracy playing cards. Then onto the sides of the tuck case, it's got piracy playing cards again too. The bottom features the Theory 11 ad copy information and on the top there's some rope designs with luxury playing cards on it too. The tuck flap has another logo on there and then on the inside of the deck there's a very detailed pirates map which is featured in there as well. Um, I do believe the inside of the tuck case, the map is the back design of that with some expanded stuff and sort of change a little bit in the middle as well. But that's generally what the map is. So let's look at the backs of the cards. So the piracy deck of playing cards are produced using a dual foil printed process which features both gold and gunmetal silver foil on the backs and faces and with extreme detail and precision that's how they are made. You'll notice too that this is a one-way design in that Peter's logo is facing one way on the card and when that's upside down so is the logo. This may be a deal breaker for some but it does open up the opportunity for some tricks using this method. So what about additional cards? There's two ad cards included which features some awesome fly the flag Peter McKinnon images including a pirate skull, a pirate coin and they look amazing in the light. There's also a duplicate joker too which is always a welcome bonus and great for sandwich tricks and other magic tricks where you need two of the same card. So let's have a look through the deck. Going through the deck we've got custom court cards and all of the pips are custom as well. They are a very rich gold foil design which really pops out on the white card when looking at them. There's a gold outline around the black and red pips throughout the deck and the red is a, a more darkish blood red style rather than the, the standard USPCC bright red which pops out. So how do they handle? They handle as you'd expect from all Theory 11 decks, so there's nothing to complain about. They're just a nice overall deck. Just being a bit out there with this, um, I think they're actually manufactured by USPCC because they look very similar to the other foil back cards that they produce. There's like when you look at the cards closer you can see this sort of design that comes through it. So don't quote me on this but they do look like they're produced by USPCC. Um, I can't see anything on the internet about this but I'm sure that's the case because looking at the the other foil back USPCC cards that I've got, they're looking very similar in quality. So now on to conclusions. So this is a fantastic deck from a fantastic magician and YouTuber. I love the gold foil on the deck and I would love to see maybe a white version over the black ones, similar to the white artisans, as I think that that would most definitely pop out of the deck with that. So the white on the back card with the gold just really stand out compared to the black, but it is what it is and it's still a good deck as is. The only gripe that I have with the deck is the price compared to the other decks which Theory 11 sells but I guess it's the process of the foil and all that extra manufacturing cost which needs to be fulfilled somewhere so that's why the price of the deck is higher than the rest. So let me know in the comments what you think of the deck. If you've got one and if you're going to get one then let me know. If you haven't already then subscribe to the channel that'll be absolutely fantastic. Give the video a like, give it a share, tell all your friends about it. Until next time, see ya!